Hi everyone. Hi mom. Welcome to the third edition of Tips, Tricks and Tools. Today I thought I would share with you some sprays, different sprays, and some kind of a little bit of a review on punches, the different companies that I own. Um, I know I'm really close here because I wanted to actually show you uh, as a continuation of the buttons that I did. Uh, these are some of the ones that I wanted to show you because I used Lindy's uh, embossing powder on these. And then I also did some clear, of course, you saw those. But I also did some butterflies. Now that's the little Martha Stewart. Where is it? It was on my desk. Here it is. This one here. I, this is the big, obviously the bigger of them. And originally what I had planned on was making them into buttons. So you can take any shape you want and make buttons out of them. I just think that this whole size that I have, the punch that I have, is too big for this. So I want the one down from that. I just don't own it at the moment. But I just wanted to show you those as well as uh, one of the flowers that I did with the little button center. Now this is the one that I did without the holes, obviously. And uh, you know, you can create these cute little centers and not make them dimensional. That's nice and flat, but you'd get a really nice little flower in your book. I did one other, it was bigger. Now these are done with the Lindy's Stamp Gang sprays. They started out white. I have a package of um, these flowers. I don't know who makes them. Color Me Crazy it, by Petaloo. And they come in this big bag of, uh, I don't even know how many you get, 60. It says 60 flower layers. And you can just color them anything you want. You can paint them with acrylic paint. You can spray them. You can stamp them. You know, do all kinds of things with them. So that's what I did with that little project that I showed you. Okay. Now I'm going to widen out. And I want to show you. I know that's my. These are the stamp punches. <laughs> I want to show you what I do with my sprays. Okay. So I have a pizza box. And yes, it was clean. I bought it clean. And I layer it with paper towel. Now what you can do is you can layer it with paper. And as you spray, you're going to get back spray. You're going to get all kinds of colors. These are all my paper towels. And you get these beautiful, beautiful colors. Now I can use these on junk journals and just layer them. And you get these amazing backgrounds. So I just use paper towel, but like I said, you can use paper. I always keep a glove for one hand. I'm right-handed, so I like to put the glove on my left so that I don't get a bunch of spray on my hands. Now, these are the different kinds of sprays that I have. I'm going to be showing you Tattered Angels. Now, I have several different Tattered Angels. The trick to Tattered Angels, I hope that's focusing for you, is the way you shake it. Don't do this. Tattered Angels tend to clog. I don't know if it's the mica that's in it or if it's the actual spray head that tends to clog, but they do tend to clog. So you need to shake them from side to side until when you flip it over, you don't see the glimmer on the bottom. Okay. Now, the, I'm going to show you each one that I use, different companies, with a single push of the spray nozzle. And that will show you, and this is holding it about two inches above my paper, okay? One squirt. And that's a full depression, so that's the kind of spray you're going to get. Now, if you just sort of hold it closer, like closer down to your paper, you're going to get a nice thick spray, if that's what you want, which is great for the inside of, of a flower, by the way. You do it nice and close, you're going to get that look. Um, you can do it in a sweep motion so that you get more coverage. If you want to splatter, you have to take the nozzle off this one and give it a whack with the back of your finger to get a splatter effect. Just um, not all sprays are created equal. <laughs> now, and you can't go by the back of the bottle by the color. Yep, that's not even going to be close. I mean, look at the difference. That's called Caribbean blue. On here, it's a turquoise blue, but there it's a blue blue. I mean, it, yeah, don't go by that. Uh, 
some shops will let you actually give it a spray or they might have a sample out for you to try but yeah you pretty much can't go by what's on the back it's not going to be that way so that's tattered angels this one is the Heidi Swap. Now, let's see if I can get it to spray. I tried it before and I couldn't get it to spray. So we'll see. It has a ball inside, a little metal ball, to mix up the shiny stuff that's in there. I'm very technical, aren't I? <laughs> okay, you can see by the nozzle right now. If you don't wipe this one off each and every time, it dries over the spray and then you don't get a nice spray. I find that a little annoying personally. Okay, one depression on this. Okay, so every time I do it, I get this every single time. Uh, it doesn't bother me personally, but if that bothers you, then see already, look at the leakage. Yeah, but it is a beautiful color. So if you're spraying it like that, you get nice coverage and it's a gorgeous shimmer. This one is called Georgia Peach, but it's leaking out of the head, which that bugs me. To me, that's wastage, but that's my review on that one. Although it doesn't stop me from using it, to be honest with you. Okay, the next one is, I bought these ones, the Color Bloom. Now, I bought two different kinds. One is called Gilded and one is soft. So you can see by the bottom of these how much shimmer is in this one versus this one. So this is almost like a metallic to me, although it doesn't say metallic, but yeah. And I forgot to mention, okay, so this is Color Bloom by Prima and it also has a ball. Oh my goodness gracious, I keep getting phone calls. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> this is the third time I've taped, so I'm not shutting it off again. Okay, so this one, when you shake it, it's got a ball in it. Same with this one. Okay, this one will do a metallic. Now I'm going to spray them both on here so you can see the difference. Okay. Now look at this. Look at the shimmer in that one versus this one. Okay. So if, if what you want is super duper shine, and I'll show you a flower that I actually sprayed with that, the center is Lindy's and the outside is that one. I mean, wow, gorgeous shimmer. But I think it needs to say gilded. Honestly, these are the first two I bought, so I'm not dead certain on those, okay? But th the neat thing about these is you can also do a, a single little short depression and get nice blobs with it. So you don't have to take the lid off to get that. And you don't get a lot of um, leakage from the tip. So I do, I love these. You can, once it gets down a little bit, you can add a little bit more water. They are water-based and it will thin it out a little bit, but you'll still get your intensity of color. So that'll make it last a little longer. And once it's fully done, you can wash it out really, really, really well and add your Tattered Angels or a spray that just isn't working for you. Put it in here and then you get you know some use out of that. So that's my tip for your sprayers. Now my favorites of all time are the Lindy's. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna show you Dilutions. I have one bottle of Dilutions. Oh, this is the one I could not get it to spray whatsoever. And I think that might be because I added um, Perfect Pearls to it. I'm just gonna see if maybe if I scrape the tip it might might come out I don't know yeah see this is just not gonna squirt at all so yeah I don't know about that one <laughs> I can show you the color in a splatter effect I do have other spray bottles so I'll just transfer it to another spray bottle you can actually see that it the not it is plugged it's plugged right there so can't really show you how that one sprays, but I can tell you about them. Dilutions are a dye base. They do not run with water. Uh, you can actually spray cloth with these, let them dry really well, and you can actually get them wet and they won't, they won't run. 
Okay. So if you like that kind of thing, then Dilutions is the company to go with. Provided you don't do what I do and add perfect pearls to it. Yeah. Okay. My last ones here are my Lindy Stamp Gang. Now I love Lindy's. And with Lindy's, you can shake your bottle any way you want and they do not clog. I really love them. The other thing I love about this company is that they ship to you without the liquid in the bottle so you're saving on your shipping cost because you don't have the weight. They will also, if you ask, they will also include extra spray heads, although I've never needed one. I have had five of them. I've never used one of them. Uh, but just in case, they will send them to you no charge. So this one is called a Flat Fabio and it's not going to show up that much so I'm going to put it nice and close because it's a real pale color with no shine. So it's a, that's why it's called Flat Fabio. But it's a pretty color. <clears throat> and it does spray, they do spray really nice. You know, you get that nice full coverage. Yes, you get a little bit of uh, splatter. But like I said before, that doesn't bother me. I'm going to show you a different color as soon as I pull out some more scrap paper. And that is, there's actually two, two or three more here that I want to show you. This one is a Stardust. Now the Stardust generally are one color with the shimmer being almost the same color. So you get a nice shimmer effect while not changing the color that you want, if that makes sense to you. So this is Dark Chocolate Truffle. So you get that gorgeous color and shimmer. So that's the look you get. Look at the shine in that. That's gorgeous. And that's what I put in that flower I just showed you, was that color. And one more for good measure. Let's pull out another sheet of paper I've already used. And this is a uh, moon shadow mist. So you can see on the bottom is copper, but the actual base color isn't. It's dark. So you're getting a couple different effects. And all the different colors have like a two-tone in the uh, moon shadow mist. Just, oh, I just love, love, love these colors. So there's the Lindy's. Just beautiful, beautiful shimmer. I can show you a teal one too, which are my favorites, as well as the greens. Now this one is also a starburst. I have several starbursts. I wanted to show you a Buccaneer Bay. Here it is. This one's called Buccaneer Bay Blue. And again, this is a moon shadow mist. So you see the blue, but that's not the base color. It's like a brown. So this might show up better for you. Let me grab another piece of scrap. Give that a good shake. Get the blue in there. Okay. I want you to see the blue. Okay, I'm going to dry that real quick so that you can see it come out. Now, whenever there's a shimmer in your sprays, don't blot it. You take the shimmer away. If you blot it, you're just going to have one color, pretty much. Okay, well, let's see if we can get nice and close so that you can see the blue shimmer in the... Isn't that gorgeous? And as it puddles you're going to get more intense. Like if I, you know, wanted to do little splats, the blue is going to sink and the darker, the base color is going to kind of leach away. So now you can really see that blue. Isn't that beautiful? It really, really is a beautiful spray. Okay, so that's the Moon Shadow Mist. Now, I think... One other thing I wanted to show you was the stains. Now I know they're not sprays, but they uh, they work great for directional application. 
Now with sprays, you you know, it's higgly piggly, right? It's just wherever you end up moving your hand, that's where your spray's gonna go. But with stains, you can apply your color where you want it. So if you wanna start here and just kind of put it right there, that's where it's gonna go. So these have a, a sponge applicator. They are the same color as your ink pads, so they coordinate, but he has added some of the metallics. Now I have the tarnished brass. This one has a ball in it. So you need to mix that up in order to get your shimmer. These are absolutely beautiful colors. And again, it also has the uh, little applicator there. And before it dries, you can actually spread it because they are water-based. Again, water-based. So they will, like your ink pads, react to water. Okay? So those are the... Uh, oh, I wanted to show you the Starburst one. Just because. Just because! Okay. Real quick. Look at the intense color of that. So pretty. Now this one is a Starburst, which means it has a shimmer, but there's no additional added color. It's just a kind of shimmery. That's that's it. That's all it's going to do. Okay, so there's um there's the moon shadow mist, which is uh, different colors in it. There's the starburst, which is just a shimmer, and there's the um what was the other one I wanted? To, oh, the flat fabio, which is no shimmer, and then there's what what is called glitz. And glitz is just whatever sparkle they put in, that's what you get. You don't get any additional background spray. All you'll get is shimmer, whether it be gold shimmer, pink shimmer, silver shimmer, whatever one you buy, that's what you get. Okay, I hope that's helpful for the sprays. So now I just wanted to quickly address some punches. Now, I have several different makes. I have a really old Martha Stewart one. I have several of her punch arounds, uh, which can give you really pretty um, photo pads or whatever you want to use them for. Uh, I also have the EK Success in that kind, as well as the big ones. I have several border punches as well by EK Success. I have the Fiskars and this one's a Fiskars as well, the Squeeze Punches. And then I also have some Marvy punches. These are the thumb punches. And, I th and then I have the McGill, which is also the big, well, they have come in different sizes, but also the thumb punch. Okay, now my review on them. This one here is not one of those kind that give you a dial that you slide where you get a solid and then a pattern in it. I, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. This punches out this frame. That's the choice you get. But if you don't punch it correctly, you're only going to get this shape. And then you're going to leave a partial punch on the paper. I have used this punch over and over again, trying to figure out the best way to work it. And I have to say I'm not, like, totally thrilled with it. Um, now, on paper, it doesn't seem to work for me on paper. Now, whether I'm punching it incorrectly, I'm sitting down, yes, but even standing up, I'm still pushing, and I don't think I've gone through. Oh, maybe I did. But you could see how difficult that was just on paper. Uh, am I not going to use it? No, I'm totally going to use it. I, I just know now that it doesn't really work great. See, it gives that sort of rough edge, but it works better on cardstock. I have tried it in cardstock in this particular one, actually, and it punches out fine. And this is a, uh, I don't know who makes this. I cut the name off, but it, it's a pretty good weight cardstock. Not super, super thick. Doesn't work on the thickness of like a Kleenex box. It won't punch out of that. I tried, see? <laughs> it won't bunch. Okay, so that's that one. 
But what I wanted to, because of the button demonstration, I wanted to tell you the circle punches that work for me, because somebody had mentioned that they've broken several punches trying to cut through a little heavier weight things. The EK Success works the best for the cardstock. Absolutely bar none, the best. Goes in, easy punch. Like, pff, n I didn't hardly even have to squeeze. That's the half inch. This is the quarter inch, same thing, easy peasy. Uh, the old style Martha Stewart worked great as well. In, squeeze, no problem. Okay? These do not work. The Fizzgars are crapola as far as that goes. Uh, this is actually my second one. I've already broken the handles and I wasn't even using it on, on that. So I'm not like thrilled with, I have them, um, but I won't use it for more than cardstock or paper. Absolutely not. Um, this one, same thing. I don't know if I tried to cut it with this. Yeah, it won't. It, it'll break. I can feel it. See, it's not even squeezing properly. I don't know. It, it doesn't seem to want to go closer than that. So it does, it does uh, paper, I believe. Well, no, it's not even doing that. It's, it's toast. I don't know. Somebody gave it to me though, so I, yeah, it's for some reason I can't even get it to uh, fit in the hole anymore. So it's toast. Um, this one here is the Marvy. It won't cut the cardstock. It does cut paper really nice. No problem with the paper. No problem with cardstock, but it doesn't work for like Kleenex box weight. Okay, I hope that's helpful. Now, the other thing that they asked was a lot of times when you get your edge punches, and I find this with the Martha Stewart for sure. I've had this several times. Now, it won't, it, it won't be a problem with this paper because it's actually a little heavier than um, like Walmart um, printer paper, you know, like the cheap stuff, right? This works great, but this is a probably a uh, 22 pound uh, printer paper weight, so it works no problem with that. But if you are having problems, let's see if I can find some cheap, well this is cheap paper. This is just, this is really cheap paper. So all you do is fold it in half or add another sheet of cheap paper under it and give it a punch and you won't get the little hairs and you won't get the, oh, it's stuck and you pull it out, it's all torn. You won't get that. Um, it's also a great way to um, give a nice look in the middle. Fold your paper in half. Okay. Uh, the other thing, you can see that there's a little writing on this one. This is new, I just got it. So this is a punch around. This is the match to it. Uh, <laughs> I have several of these punch arounds. Some work great, some don't. You really need to make sure that your measurements are very accurate. Now the smallest you can do is 3.25, which is three and a quarter inches by five inches. That's the shape that you have to have in order to punch. Now this set, no problem. Have absolutely no problem with it. Works every time. This set didn't. I, I don't know how many pieces of paper I ruined. Fortunately, just scrap paper. Could not get it to line up to save my life. <laughs> Works fine in a line. Lines up great. Works fine in a line. The corners work great. Now these, you, they have little wings, so you pull them out and you push it in so that both sides are hitting the guy and then you squeeze. Of course, that didn't hit the guide. Let's do that again. There we go. Okay, so when you hit the guide, <laughs> this is what you're going to get. But it's when I want to attach this side that I'm having the problem. So I discovered after numerous attempts that the measurements were off for whatever they did to this, wherever they set the metal it wasn't set correctly. So I had to make an adjustment on my measurement of the actual paper. I had to make it slightly less than five inches and then it worked perfect every time. So you might have to play a little, just use some scratch paper 
and uh, you know figure it out if it works great the first time wonderful if it's not keep your receipts if you've got a problem with something like that don't wait take it back tell them look this doesn't work I've tried it several times I want a different punch because it's probably a one-off um, for the most part they they do work great it's just I had issues with this one <laughs> Okay, I think that's all I'm going to tell you today, and thank you for your comments, thank you for your suggestions. I will get to them, um, you know, one at a time. It really depends on the mood I'm in and what I want to talk about. <laughs> this was already on my desk, so that's why it's this lesson today. Again, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Have any suggestions? I'd love to hear them. Thanks for watching. Bye.